We just took delivery of this 2013 Dodge Dart. We're going to keep it for a year to perform a four seasons test so we can really get to know this new car inside and out. The Dodge Dart is a really important car because although it's built by Dodge in Illinois, it's actually based on the Alfa Romeo Giulietta from Europe. This is the first Italian-American car to go on sale here since Fiat helped rescue Chrysler from bankruptcy in 2009. And we're really eager to see what it's like in a year of day-to-day -day driving. Dodge has never been very competitive in the compact car segment. We named the Neon our Automobile of the Year way back in 1994. But since then, small Dodges like the Neon and Caliber have lagged really far behind their competition. The Dart, however, may be the car to change that. We already named the Dart second place in a compact car comparison test. Spending a year behind the wheel will give us a chance to see whether Dodge really has built a credible compact car. To keep the sticker price reasonable, we chose a Dodge Dart SXT with only a few options. Our car has the 1.4 litre turbocharged engine, which is also available in the Fiat 500 Abarth. And we opted for a six-speed dual-clutch transmission. That's Dodge's first ever dual-clutch transmission. Together, that powertrain is supposed to return 37 miles per gallon on the highway. We'll put that to the test later this year when we go on many road trips. Out back, we spent $225 to get really cool LED taillights. They're copied over from the Dodge Charger and they instantly make this car stand out at night. Not many cars in this price range have LED taillights at all, so this is a really standout feature on the Dart. Inside, we made sure to specify the Uconnect touchscreen. We really liked the large graphics and easy to use software when we had the same system in our Four Seasons Dodge Charger. The system controls everything from the car's climate control to radio and iPod to navigation and Bluetooth phone pairing. Because the car arrived in winter, we also swapped out the factory Continental rubber for Pirelli Sutta Zero winter tires. When the weather warms up, we'll switch back to the original tires, but for now, we really appreciate the extra grip and snow and ice. All told, our Dart cost $23,195. We think that's a reasonable price to pay considering we've got a lot of equipment and it's a relatively big car for the compact segment. So far, we've discovered one unusual feature in this car. The CD player is hidden away inside the center console. Of course, not many people really use CDs anymore, so the center console also has an SD card slot and a USB port for music players. Over the next year, we expect to learn a lot more secrets about this car, chief among which is whether it's reliable. This is a brand new car with a new engine and new transmission, so it'll be interesting for us to see how well it holds up during a year of hard driving. We can't wait to get behind the wheel of this car, partly because the Dart is the closest thing you can get to buying a new Alfa Romeo in America today. But more importantly, the car represents Dodge making a concerted effort to rejoin the compact car segment. To find out whether it's successful, Check automobilemag.com every month for the latest updates and photos on our 2013 Dodge Dart. Now, let's go drive.